Elon Musk has never been one to follow the rules, and his latest automotive project, the Tesla Model 2, is yet another reminder of how he continues to defy convention in the electric vehicle world. This upcoming car has been spotted multiple times over the past year, often cloaked in Tesla's characteristic camouflage for unreleased models, suggesting that it's inching closer to official release. What makes these sightings even more intriguing is the fact that this vehicle, noticeably smaller than the Tesla Model Y, has consistently been seen around Tesla's Fremont facility, a telltale sign that development is now in its final stages. These developments arrive on the heels of Tesla's successful limited launch of its robo-taxi service in Austin, Texas, which already represents a major leap in autonomous transportation. Now, all eyes are shifting to Tesla's much-hyped and long-awaited budget electric vehicle, the Model 2. Priced between $17,500 and $25,000 depending on eligibility for the Federal Electric Vehicle Tax Credit, this car is poised to open up Tesla ownership to millions more people around the globe. But bringing an electric vehicle to market at such a low price point hasn't been without its challenges. Tesla, after all, has primarily built its reputation on premium vehicles like the Model S, Model X, and Model Y. Creating a reliable and affordable electric car that still delivers on performance, safety, and technology while remaining under the $30,000 mark meant making some tough choices. The Model 2, by necessity, has been stripped of all excess. Its exterior design is understated, the interior is deliberately minimalist, and its performance, while respectable, doesn't aim to blow away sports car enthusiasts. This is the reality of producing an electric vehicle at such a revolutionary price point. Whether you love it or criticize it, these decisions are a direct result of Tesla's relentless pursuit of affordability without compromising the brand's electric DNA. And that brings us to the key question that sparked debate. Will this small Tesla EV succeed in markets like the United States, where larger vehicles traditionally dominate and consumer preferences lean towards space and power? There's a widely held perception that American consumers, owing to both cultural and physical differences, prefer larger cars and SUVs. Compared to markets like Japan or Southeast Asia, the average American household owns bigger vehicles and compact cars often struggle to gain mass appeal. Does this mean the Model 2 is doomed to underperform in the United States market? Not necessarily. Because while size does matter, price, practicality, and innovation often matter more. And here's where Tesla has played its cards smartly. Earlier rumors had suggested the Model 2 would be a simple hatchback, possibly following the design language of compact city cars popular in Europe and Asia. But newer leaks and comments from Tesla's own leadership have since confirmed otherwise. According to Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, the Model 2 will not be a hatchback. Instead, it will be introduced as a compact crossover, an incredibly strategic move that offers a blend of practicality, performance, and visual appeal. Positioning the Model 2 as a compact crossover carries numerous advantages. For one, this body style generally offers greater interior volume compared to hatchbacks, making it more suitable for small families, rideshare drivers, or anyone who needs versatility in a small footprint. With a slightly higher ground clearance than sedans or hatchbacks, the Model 2 will be more adaptable to various road conditions, from pothole-ridden city streets to rural backroads and suburban cul-de-sacs. Additionally, the compact crossover segment is among the fastest-growing sectors in the global auto industry. Consumers from the United States to Europe to China are increasingly gravitating toward these vehicles for their utility, comfort, and balance of size. Tesla's entry into this hotly contested segment will position the Model 2 as a direct competitor to cars like the Volkswagen ID.3, the Toyota Corolla Cross, and even some gasoline-powered crossovers like the Honda HR-V or Hyundai Kona. Perhaps most critically, the decision to go with a compact crossover body allows Tesla to leverage some of the design cues and production strategies already proven successful in the Model Y. In fact, Tesla has indicated that the Model 2 will share its production lines with the Model 3 and Model Y rather than being built using the advanced new unboxed manufacturing process developed for the autonomous CyberCap. This reuse of existing manufacturing infrastructure helps Tesla keep costs down and dramatically accelerate the time it takes to bring the Model 2 to market. 
In terms of dimensions, the Model 2 will be roughly 20% smaller than the Model Y and far more simplified. Everything from interior trim to software packages has been optimized for affordability. Sharing production lines with the Model 3 and Model Y, particularly at Tesla's ultra-efficient gigafactories in Texas and Shanghai, means fewer upfront investments and a faster ramp-up timeline. To put things into perspective, Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory can currently assemble a Model Y every 33 seconds. This speed is made possible by innovations like Giga Casting, a process in which massive aluminum presses are used to cast large portions of the car's frame in one go, reducing the number of parts and welds required. For the Model 2, Tesla plans to go a step further by deploying an even larger Giga Press than the 6,000-ton model used for the Model Y. This next-generation casting machine will be capable of creating the entire underbody of the Model 2 in a single operation. Not only does this allow for faster production, but it also increases structural rigidity, reduces the chance of assembly defects, and helps lower manufacturing costs per unit. And in an affordable vehicle like the Model 2, every single dollar counts. Tesla had to strip away a lot to hit that under $25,000 target. For instance, the Model 2 will likely feature fabric upholstery instead of leather or vegan leather. Heated seats? Gone. A panoramic glass roof? Eliminated. Dual-pane acoustic glass? Replaced with single-pane versions. Ambient interior lighting and rear touchscreens are not included either. Instead of flashy 20-inch alloys, expect simpler 17-inch steel wheels with plastic covers to keep costs low. The sound system has been scaled down from the 13 speakers found in the Model Y to a more modest 7. Even paint options will be limited, possibly only available in 3 or 4 basic colors to simplify production logistics. Still, none of these cost-cutting measures come at the expense of safety or core functionality. The Model 2 will still seat 5 passengers, still connect to Tesla's software ecosystem and still offer over-the-air updates and navigation with real-time traffic data. Under the hood, or more accurately, underneath the floor, Tesla is installing a lithium-iron phosphate battery pack with a capacity of approximately 53 kilowatt-hours. This chemistry is cheaper, longer-lasting, and safer than the nickel-based batteries used in Tesla's premium vehicles. At current pricing of roughly $55 per kilowatt-hour, the total cost of the battery comes out to around $3,000, making it one of the most affordable EV battery packs in the industry. Despite its modest size, the Model 2 is expected to offer a real-world range of about 250 miles per charge. And while it's unlikely to offer a long-range variant due to cost constraints, that range is more than enough for the daily commutes, errands, and weekend trips most owners will use it for. Performance-wise, the Model 2 will feature a single rear-wheel drive motor, capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in approximately 7 seconds. Its top speed will be capped at around 112 miles per hour. While that won't set any Nürburgring records, it still outpaces many gasoline cars in its price bracket and delivers an enjoyable, responsive driving experience. The question remains. Should Tesla include full self-driving capabilities in a car this affordable? The answer isn't straightforward. While all Tesla vehicles produced since 2019 have the necessary hardware for full autonomy, including cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and Tesla's proprietary full self-driving computer, enabling the feature currently costs upwards of $8,000 or requires a monthly subscription. That price is a considerable leap for a buyer targeting a $25,000 vehicle. Including FSD by default would drive the effective cost closer to $33,000, defeating the purpose of a budget-friendly electric car. For this reason, it's more likely that full self-driving will be available as an optional upgrade rather than bundled into the base model. Yet, having the option to add it later gives the Model 2 a kind of future-proofing few other affordable EVs can match. If Tesla eventually rolls out its fully autonomous robo-taxi network, Model 2 owners could convert their cars into income-generating assets during idle hours. For budget-conscious consumers, the ability to earn passive income from their vehicle is a game-changing proposition. However, that brings us back to cost. 
Tesla's ability to keep the Model 2 competitively priced hinges in part on the continuation of the Federal Electric Vehicle Tax Credit of up to $7,500. When this credit is applied, the effective cost of the Model 2 could drop to just $17,500, a figure that places it squarely within the realm of gasoline-powered rivals like the Toyota Corolla or Hyundai Elantra. But this incentive may not last forever. Projections suggest that by 2026, Due to political shifts or budgetary constraints, this federal tax credit could be reduced or eliminated altogether. If that happens, Tesla would have to reduce the Model 2 sticker price by as much as $7,500 just to remain competitive. A monumental challenge considering how much has already been shaved off in pursuit of affordability. In the past, Tesla was able to set a higher MSRP and let the tax credit serve as a kind of invisible discount. But if that tax credit disappears, Tesla may have to take a direct hit on margins or scale down even more features. Something that would further challenge the balance between price and perceived value. As for when the Model 2 will officially launch, current speculation points to early quarter 4 of 2025. Tesla had originally planned to unveil the vehicle earlier, but its focus on scaling the robo-taxi platform and launching the cyber cab its fully autonomous steering wheel free ride sharing vehicle seems to have taken precedence once the model 2 is finally introduced production is expected to commence in tesla's texas and shanghai factories with pre-orders likely opening early next year a high profile launch event complete with elon musk's trademark showmanship will almost certainly be held to generate global media attention and public excitement looking back it's been a long journey since Elon Musk first teased a $25,000 Tesla in 2020. That vision was bold, to democratize access to electric vehicles and fundamentally reshape the market. But the road to affordability has been riddled with challenges, detours, and strategic shifts. Some of the delays stem from Tesla's internal decisions, like prioritizing the development of full autonomy and the robo-taxi platform. Others were due to external pressures such as the rapid rise of Chinese competitors like BYD, which now offer vehicles like the Dolphin for under $14,000 in China. This intense competition has forced Tesla to accelerate innovation and double down on manufacturing efficiency. Through bold strategies like shared production lines, giga casting, simplified design, and supply chain optimizations, Tesla has found a way to make the Model 2 viable without abandoning its principles. If all goes to plan and the Model 2 arrives on schedule, it will be a historic moment, not just for Tesla but for the global auto industry. In emerging markets like India, Thailand and the Philippines, where EV adoption is still in its early stages, the Model 2 could serve as the tipping point. But Tesla will need to invest in local charging infrastructure and awareness campaigns to ensure long-term success in those regions. Ultimately, the Model 2 is not just another car. It's a symbol of Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. With its blend of affordability, innovation, and brand appeal, it has the potential to become Tesla's best-selling model ever and redefine what the world expects from an entry-level electric vehicle.